Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samuel Squad? I'm here in the PTS, and there's a new god released. Yu Huang, I think is how you say his name. Hold on, I'll wait. Yu Huang. Yu Huang, yeah, that's how you say his name. And uh, this is base skin. This is his remodel. Let's just buy that real quick. Rising Dao. I like his remodel a lot more. I don't know, actually. The white and gold dragon is pretty sick. But anyways, he's incredible his kit is amazing obviously i'll go over his kit real quick in the beginning um i'll just start now his passive is called dao or rising dao or whatever and uh basically you get this thing called dao every time you use an ability and when you have six of them your auto attacks are aoe they hit one of their target for 75 percent of the damage um let me just buy some things real quick i'm just gonna go sands of time or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Conduit Gem and into Chronos Pendant because he is definitely a character you want max cooldown on. Let's start this, go into these, and I will show you guys each of his abilities. So, his one is this uh, Circle X thing. You use it, the, uh, it, the uh, little balls of damage start from outside where the X points are, going inward and then exploding. If you have six Dow, which is this, it's when one side fills up. That's how I know you have six Dao. Um, then you will get additional damage from an, an extra explosion. Uh, his two ability is this. The more you charge it up, the more Dao you receive. And uh, you, you heard the little bird sound when I used my one. That was my one using six Dao in order to do extra damage. Um... And as you see, I have more than 6,000, so my auto attacks are AoE. I'm going to be charging this up, dealing damage. And then uh, comboing my 1 into it. So basically, the 3... I know I went over the 1 and the 2, but the 3 is this massive... Uh, untargetable AoE jump, I suppose. It's not really a jump, because you can't go through walls with it. But it kind of is in the sense where you... Uh, well, how about, how about this? How about I just show you? You go up in the air and you are completely untargetable the entire time. When you land, you deal damage, and uh, and that's that. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. It's amazing. Uh, as you can see, you also gain a little bit of movement speed while you're, I guess, descending. Uh, you can refire the three in order to descend even faster, which is something that is completely notable. It's massive. Oh, that is unlucky. So I'll show you guys here. Oh, actually, he's gonna... He's gonna probably kill me if I drop down on him. He had his ult, so... And the reason I'm charging my two up is because... It basically gives you more Dao. Like, you can charge up the, the, the two as much as you want. And um, it maxes out at giving you six Dao, which is basically completely enabling your auto attack passive by itself and with some aoe auto attacks and a well-placed one you can actually clear the whole wave by itself so it's amazing i'm gonna use my two here to uh or not my two i'm sorry my three here to show you guys the when you reactivate it it flies down even faster as you can see he de aggroed to me the buff did because you're completely untargetable when you use your three so if you're taking a buff or uh like let's say you're in conquest you're taking a fire giant or something like that you're gonna have a bad time because it's gonna de-aggro you and your whole team is gonna be pissed Peace. currently i'm maxing my two because i do believe it to be the best wave clear not to mention decent damage there you go you saw my three right there basically when you reactivate your three and you land on somebody the pearl dragon will follow you down and knock up anyone that you land on so just gonna auto this stuff level my one second okay ow that did a lot of damage how much is chronos pendant only a hundred gold more i can i can greed that for sure now my ultimate is called dueling dragons it's so cool <laughs> i actually really love the alt it's one of my oh oops it's one of my favorite alts i think in this game so you see this big ass targeter here 
A dragon spawns at your feet and then spawns at the end of that targeter. Oh, uh, hold on. Are you trying to murder me? The dragon will spawn at your feet and then spawn at the end of that targeter. And then they will collide. They'll, they'll headbutt each other. And anyone that you hit with either dragon will get pulled to the, the collision point and then have an extra burst of damage hit them, an extra explosion. So there's push damage and explosion damage, two types of uh, damage on your your ult. Kind of like Charybdis ult, I guess. Charybdis has a push damage and an ult damage. It's the same thing, except instead of pushing them back, you're bringing them into the center here. I really want to use it, but it would only be smart to use it on him, so I'm not going to. By the way, charging up your three, or I'm sorry, your two, doesn't actually increase the amount of damage you're doing with it. It just gives you more Dao, so... It's not like Tiamat's one or anything. And you can also hold it forever. Alright, just throwing some autos out there. The clear is very good. So I'm going to see if I can dueling dragons for you. Oh, dude, I hit it. That was so sick. That was sick. So you saw my ult there. It hit twice for 320 damage. It pushed. What? What? It pushed and also blew up, which is, it's just so cool, dude. So I have a full passive now. I'm not, I don't really know what that does, to be honest. Oh. It looks as though the AoE aspect of the two, like the root, the actual root of the two is bigger than... The actual, like, line damage, I suppose? I don't know. My goal is to just stop him from doing anything he wants. Alright, pretty good stuff. We'll just auto this. My one is not doing too much damage right now, but I did max my two first, so it's to be expected. I'm sure you could actually max the one, and it might even be better. But, uh, I don't know. Can I go over walls with this? You cannot. You cannot. I don't know. This character is a mage, by the way. I don't know if I said that. It's really cool. I am thoroughly enjoying this. This mage. As you can see, the untarget ability of using the uh the three is awesome oh he actually back there that's unexpected that will clear with the aoe damage it does and then i'll go grab a breastplate because like i said i think this character is massively overrated or overpowered with um with max cooldown because you're dropping your one what is it? With with max cooldown at 5.4 seconds and Chronos Pendant procs, you're dropping your one as fast as Hebo is. And uh, it leaves little circles too, so... I don't know. And it can blow up extra times. It's just a wild ability. Now, I do have the Dao extra auto attack ability, and it does actually work off Phoenix or Tower, I'm pretty sure. I missed. Oh well. I do wish it would focus him. Does he have a 3k? Oh no, he has Mantle. I guess he wanted to try Mantle out. Okay. Run at me all you want. I'm not scared. Start this up so I get more Dao. We'll pop. Lifesteal would be nice on him. I am in tune with the ebb and flow of the universe. Peace. Damn. That was close. That was close. He is slightly tanky. I don't have much damage, obviously. Um, 
by the way, worth mentioning, when you charge the two up, as long as it gets to that little red stage, you see it starts out uh, gray and then gets to that red stage. As long as it gets to that stage at any point, you will... Uh... Hold on, you're going to ult, obviously. Oh my god, why am I so slow? Why was I so slow that entire time? I don't know, but it's ridiculous. I'm definitely getting a sprint. Um, and I'm also going to need divine, but I forgot what I was saying. You, if you see here, right here, the ability only does 60% of its damage until it's fully charged up. And once it's fully charged up, you detonate it out and it will do the, uh, the root. I think actually you can do the root by itself. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think you can do the root by itself, even at lower damage. It's not necessarily worth it, though. Nice. Red buff's mine. I do wish that the... Uh, what is it called? The Celestial Flight. I wish that his... <clears throat> excuse me. His jump would actually go over things. I think it'd be really nice. I know they'd be a bit overpowered, and by a bit, I mean extremely overpowered. So, a little bit of a of an ask from me, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be worth it. All right, good damage. He popped his med. Okay. All right. You are largely immune. Well, you are absolutely immune to everything when you are in the Celestial Flight stage. But what I was going to say was it does last a relatively long amount of time. It feels like three or four seconds, which is, I mean, that's honestly pretty significant. I will say it does have a initial launch period, but maybe that's just because it's on instant cast right now. Maybe if I throw that on on uh, on instant, it was on quick cast. I mean, maybe if I throw that on instant, it'll be a little bit better for me. I have all of his abilities on. Um, what is it called? On quick cast at the moment, just so you guys can see the targeters. I only play. On instant cast, so it's a little weird, but it's okay. Max cooldown. We have our divine now. Don't know where he is. Probably doing blue, but I don't know. This guy is super fun. The explosion into a root is extremely satisfying. Are you just tanking? Yikes, dude. I will say if you miss the, uh, you miss the two, it does feel pretty not good. Can't launch it. Oh, I really want to see if I can fight him here. Oh, it only pushes if you don't hit the, the collapse on it. Oh, you are low. And I cannot catch him. He is too fast. He's got Golden Blade and Atalanta's bow, so... My boy's moving. 
Not that Atalanta's bow gives you move speed unless you get a kill, but... Okay. I do think Spear of the Magus is going to be really good on him. Because your whole point, your whole kit is just comboing abilities, right? You want to combo your two into your one. And if you can use your three aggressively, then you do it after your one. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you should really ever use your three aggressively, to be honest. Oops. Yeah. 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 That is very good damage. Oh man. Oh, that damage is so nice, dude. If you land that root, you are doing so much. And I can just charge this up while chasing. Because you don't actually move slower with it. At least I don't think you do. But you can just charge that up while chasing and then get a shit and a dow for basically the cost of nothing. And I'm going to go back now. I'll get my Rata Tahuti. Going to give me a little bit more damage. Now, keep in mind, all of the items I'm buying, by the way, almost every single one was nerfed. Uh, 10 power off of Kronos Pendant. 10 power off of Divine Ruin. 20 power off of Rata Tahuti. The Gem of Focus got uh, completely reworked. So, I'm not doing as much damage as you would normally see a mage do. And the reason is... Not because I'm necessarily doing less damage. Oh my god, look at that damage. Look at that damage, holy. Ouch. But anyways, what I was saying was, it's not because this mage has lower scaling or anything. It's because of the fact that, uh... They just lowered the damage of all... Hold on. Oh, you are so low. You are so low. They lowered the damage of all abilities and all items in the game. So everything is going to look like it's not doing as much damage. But trust me, I mean, I'm doing very good. Doing very good right now. That, that damage is nothing to mess with. Right there. That 2-1 combo doing 40% of his HP. That's a fast cooldown too, man. Look at that. Alright. Let's see if we can get this red buff now. I'm just going to auto it because I want to keep my Dao right now. I don't think there's a point in me using Dao. And I think... I know that... Um, that I could get right of Duty here. But I'm going to go Archmage Gem just because of the rework. And basically, if you don't know, the rework is... It doesn't give you the extra 20% damage unless you hit an enemy god. Which, in my opinion, is actually better than what it was. Because it was wasted most of the time on minions before. So... Now that it only hits gods confirmed, you are always looking at a pretty decent amount of damage when you're hitting people. I will say it uh, it takes a second to build up, but you know, what doesn't in this game? What the? What the? This is so weird. Because my ult got cancelled there. Oh my god. He was not expecting that to do that much damage. Yeah, my three... My, my leap where I'm untargetable in the air does almost 600 damage to him. 
I mean, he's got Mantle of Discord, so it's not doing as much. But it's doing a lot. <laughs> this is my point. All right. I am stuttering just a little bit, but it's PTS. It's what you expect. Man, when a mage can deal with a warrior, you know it's a good mage. His warriors have notoriously W keyed mages for quite some time now. So the fact that I can I can even keep myself alive against this guy is crazy. Now here's the question. Do I upgrade this? I think I want more damage rather than more. I think I want more damage rather than more defense. You can only have one tier four, and I was debating obviously between rod or breastplate upgrade. I'm gonna go with the rod upgrade. He's going double defense, so if I have to, I will sell. Um, okay. If I have to, I will sell. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. He popped sprint and alt and just W keyed me. Like I said before, I mean, it's a warrior, but dude, I, I don't know. The one thing I don't like about, about his alt and I will, you know, BM a new character just because I think his alt is a little bit weird in the sense where if you, hold on, I want to buy one of these. If you, Oh, that's... I can't even refund it. But anyways, if you use your alt and then turn around, there's no option for it to stun at all. Or not stun, but, you know, push them back. Because... And I'll use it now. But, like, if I turn this way, the other dragon throws himself, you know, over there. So you have to be aiming the exact way you want that push to go. It's a little weird. A little weird. I'm sure it's not bad, right? Like, I guarantee there's no way it's bad. It's just weird in the sense where normally mages have relatively, I guess, confirmable or movable alts. But I don't know. This one, this one doesn't. All right. Clearly he DC'd a little bit of a lame ending to a game, but I did show off the, the character. I showed off his alt. I showed off his combo. It's very good. He's very good. I think. Unfortunately, the game had to end like that, but it was still, I mean, this God is so cool. There's a couple more things I want to check out in the PTS, by the way, there's the new Erlang Shen. Which, well, new. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how much of a difference it makes. But the new Erlang Shen. Obviously, this character. And um, also, I want to try out... I, for, I forgot what god, but who knows. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Peace.